हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी काइंडली सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल एंड लाइक द वीडियो इफ इट हेल्प्स इन योर लर्निंग नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस पर्टिकुलर प्रॉब्लम सैम्पल प्रॉब्लम दिस इज इन दिस सैम्पल प्रॉब्लम वी आर रिक्वायर्ड टू डिटरमाइन द सेंट्राइड ऑफ ए ट्राइंगुलर एरिया राइट सो वी हैव दिस ट्राइंगुलर एरिया एंड वी आर रिक्वायर्ड टू फाइंड द सेंट्राइड ऑफ दिस राइट सो टू डिटरमाइन द सेंट्राइड ऑफ दिस रेक्टेंगुलर एरिया uh what we will do is that we will select a differential strip right this differential area right since we are required to determine the distance h from the base of a triangle of altitude h to the centri uh, to the centroid of its area right so we are required to find the distance from the base of this triangle right so this means that uh we need to select as uh, the differential element that is parallel to the x axis is right and that differential element should be like this right we should divide this triangular area in this horizontal like strips right and these strips should move along the y axis is right since we are required to find the centroid along the y axis is right so to find that uh, distance from the base uh, what we will do is that we will select this differential area right and the this this length is equal to x right since it will vary along the y axis is right this x the, the this length of this differential area is a function of y right so we can say that x is a function of y right it varies along the y coordinate right along the y axis is right and let's say that this differential element is at a distance of y from the base right from the base or from the x axis right so this is that y coordinate and the thickness of or or we can say that the width of this differential uh, area is dy right so this is that dy and the total height of this triangular area or the altitude of this triangular area is equal to h right so now since we are finding the centroid of an area of a triangular area so we will apply the equation for uh, the centroid equation for areas right so we will write that uh, uh, we we since we want to find the distance along the y axis is right so we will use this equation that is y bar and this will be area right or we can say that it will be y da and this will be equal to integral y c and this da right and this integral will be from 0 to h right so i will write that this is 0 to h and similarly we will have 0 to h here let's say that the centroid of this differential area is somewhere here right and this uh, since this is a differential uh, area so this dy is very small as we know right so let's say that the centroid of a uh, this differential element is at a distance of y right so this means that uh, we can say that yc is equal to y right so yc is equal to y right this this let's say that this is the centroid of this differential area right this is small c so then we can say that yc equals to y and we can write da equals to da is the area of this differential uh, strip right so we can say that this will be x times dy right so we can add this is x dy right and if we want to find only this integral right this uh, da from 0 to h is we know that the area of a triangular geometry is half base into h right so we know this integral right so we can write that this y bar is we can replace this by this right so this is half base is b right so base is b into h right and then this is uh, from 0 to h and y c right so y c is equal to y right so we can add that this is y and da is x dy right so as i told you people that x is a function of y right so we have to find that x as a function of y since the integration is with respect to y right so we cannot integrate it until and unless we have the x as a function of y right so now uh, as we can see that if i consider this triangle let me write that 
if uh, let's say that here we have one two this point uh, this point is let's say two and this is let's say one and this is three and let's say that we have uh, let's say this is a uh, four and let's say this is five right so now our triangle one two three and triangle three triangle four five three they are similar triangles right one we have one two three triangle this large triangle this whole triangle and then we have this four five three triangle right for both of these are similar triangles so we can find this x by using the properties of similar triangles right let's say that this is the height of this small triangle right this four five three triangle right so what will be this length so this length will be h minus y right so the height of this uh, four five three triangle the altitude of this four five three triangle is h minus y right so we can take the ratios of the base and the altitude right so i can write that x divided by h minus y this will be equal to b right this b divided by h the altitude of the large triangle this is the altitude of the small triangle right and this is the base of the small triangle so this ratio will be equal right so from this we can write that x is equal to b into h minus y divided by h right so this is the x as a function of y so now we can we can we can find this integral right so let me write that this integral let me first find this integral only right so this is from 0 to h let's say this is equation 1 right so this is y into x into dy so we can write that y now x is this right so we can replace x by that function right so this is b into h minus y divided by h and this is dy right so b and h are constants now right and this is from 0 to h so now uh, if i take b divided by h common right so we have this b divided by h this is from 0 to h so we can multiply this right uh, sorry we can multiply this y with h right b and h are common right so this will be h y minus y square dy right or we can split it right we can write it like this so b divided by h this will be from 0 to h h y dy minus from 0 to h y square dy right so this is b divided by h so the integration of this the we can take h common from this integral as well so this will be h y square divided by 2 from 0 to h minus and this will be y cube divided by 3 and this is from 0 to h right so this is b divided by h and if we put these limits so then this will be h into h square divided by 2 right so this will be h cube divided by 2 minus 0 right and then this is minus and this will be h cube divided by 3 so 1 by 2 minus 1 by 3 so 1 by 2 minus 1 by 3 so this is uh, 1 by 6 right so from this we can write that this is b divided by h and from this we get h cube divided by 6 right so then this h will cancel out so then this integral is equal to b h square divided by 6 right so now we can put this integral in this equation one right so we have this equation this is y bar is one divided by two b h and this is a uh, b h square divided by six right so b will cancel out we can cancel out this b this one h will be cancelled out and this will be cancelled out and we will have three right so this means that y bar equals to h divided by 3 right so this means that the centroid of uh, this triangular area is at a distance of h divided by 3 from the base of this triangle right so let's say that somewhere here is that uh, 
that C point. Right, this is that capital C. This is the centroid of this whole area, right? So the y coordinate of this centroid is h divided by three. So now, what does this mean? That if if this h is let's say nine meters, right? So then this centroid will be at a distance of nine divided by three. So at a distance of three meters uh, from the x-axis, right? So this means that in that case, this distance will be. Three meters. Now, if we rotate this triangular area and uh, have some other orientation, right? Let's say that this is a this is our that one three side, right? So this is one three two, right? Now we are considering that this one three side as a base of this triangle. So let's say that the length of this uh, one three side is let's say a, right? And let's say that now this height is uh, let's say h a. Let me Right, this height, this altitude is h a. So now again, if we repeat that same procedure, and if we consider the this as a differential element, this differential strip as a differential area, so then we will have a that y bar equals to h a divided by three. And similarly, if if I rotate this and if I place this uh, triangle in some other orientation, if we consider this two three as the base of this triangle, so then we will have uh, again uh, the altitude in that case divided by three, right? So this means that uh, the centroid of a triangular area always lies at the intersection of the of the medians right so what are what is median so median of a triangle is the line from this vertex to the midpoint of the base right so if i draw a line from this apex to the midpoint of this a this base right and if we draw one another line from this from this vertex to the midpoint of this uh, edge Right, so this is one another median, and similarly, if we draw one another line from this to the midpoint of this edge, right? So the centroid of this triangular area will lie at the intersection of these three medians, right? So from this, from y bar equals to h three, we conclude that the centroid of a triangular area will always lie. At the intersection of three medians, and y bar will be equal to one by third of the height of the altitude, right? And in other words, we can say that this centroid will lie at a distance of two divided by three h distance from the apex, right? We can say that this point C is at a distance of and if we want to specify this distance right this distance this distance so then this distance will be h minus this distance will be h minus h divided by 3 right so h minus h divided by 3 is 2 divided by 3h right so in other words we can say that this centroid will be at a distance of 2 divided by 3h from this apex right 